Now they're saying that what are the characteristics of a cy tropical cyclone? So here they have, I just divide them into under different headings, for example, the size. They're saying it can be up to 800 kilometer in diameter and up to 20 kilometers in the height. If you see the diameter, for example, so diameter is this. This is diameter or not from here to here? So its yes. diameter is 800 kilometer. And if you see the height in the air, so it can be up to 20 kilometers, mean that spiral, the air spiral goes up to, you can say, 20 kilometers above. So this is the size. After that, the time duration and the speed, they said that if the tropical cyclones come in some area, so normally they can last up to a week. They can be one day or two day more or less, but if you see the average, it is like one week. And the moving from one place to another, for example, they are moving from one place to another, that is be, uh, you can say 17 to 32 kilometers per hour, it can be from one place to another. The rotation or direction, as we said that, on the Northern Hemisphere, they are anti-clockwise and the Southern Hemisphere, they are clockwise. Indications or possibilities of tropical cyclone. Now they're saying that, what are the indications? Indication mean that, is there any way or the method that the people will know that this uh, cyclone is going to happen? Okay. What means what can the possible signs from where the people or the how the you can say the meteorology department the weather department who are forecasting for weather how they will decide that there is a possibility of a tropical cyclone you know that now they have a system they get, get the they you can say release the alert they issue the alert before the cyclone comes to a specific area so the people can move from that area to a safer place. So what is they're saying that they're saying when the typical weather expected as tropical cyclone pass is, the sky becomes cloudy, wind speed increases, rain with sunny intervals. You'll find that rain, then again sun, then again rain, then again sun, the wind speed increased with the time and the sky becomes cloudy. And how it look like, like this one. Got it? Or sometime if you see above, this is from the earth. It is from the satellite. It looks like this. Any confusion? No, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Okay, now you see the center. Okay, the center we are talking about where here the pressure is low. This is low pressure area. This is known as eye wall or sometimes only eye, eye of the cyclone, this center part. And this is also known as in some books you'll find I vortex and sometime they will find this uh, I meso vortex. So the same names for this place is okay. After that, now they're saying that when you're talking about this eye wall, in the eye wall, the storm. Uh, of the storm, the sky is clear. Winds are light and there are little rain. Temperatures are warm. We're talking about that eye part, this one here. After the eye has passed, cum, uh, cumulonimbus 
this is the type of the cloud the citrus cloud uh, cumulonimbus clouds form again with the heavy rain and the strong winds again if from area they pass for example here you have this is the whole cyclone and if this part this part is passed for example it comes here now and this part again the clouds will come and which one cumulonimbus clouds the wind speed and rain fall decrease and the sun interval come they are talking about that part 